birth certificate explained since the early 1960s, state governments, themselves specially created, juristic, corporate persons signified by all caps, have issued birth certificates to a persons, with legal fiction all caps names. This is not a lawful record of your physical birth, but rather the birth of the juristic, all caps name. It may appear to be your true name, but since no proper name is ever written in all caps it does not identify who you are. The birth certificate is the government's self-created document of title for its new property, i.e., the deed to the juristic name artificial person whose all caps name mirrors your true name. The birth certificate brings the new all caps name into colorable admiralty maritime law, the same way a ship is birthed. When a child is born, the hospital sends the original, not a copy, of the record of live birth to the State Bureau of Vital Statistics, sometimes called the Department of Health and Rehabilitative Services. Each state is required to supply the United States with birth, death, and health statistics. The state agency that receives the original record of live birth keeps it and then issues a birth certificate in the corrupted, all-caps version of the baby's true name, i.e., James Wilbur Smith. Certificate, noun. Middle English certificate, from Middle French, from Medieval Latin certificatum. From Late Latin, neuter of certificatus, past participle of certificare, to certify, 15th century. 3. A document evidencing ownership or debt, Merriam Webster Dictionary. The birth certificate issued by the state is then registered with the U.S. Department of Commerce, the Executive Office, specifically through their own subagency, the U.S. Census Bureau, which is responsible to register vital statistics from all the states. The word registered, as it is used within commercial or legal based equity law, does not mean that the all caps name was merely noted in a book for reference purposes. When a birth certificate is registered with the U.S., Department of Commerce, it means that the all-caps legal person named thereon has become a surety or guarantor, a condition and obligation that is automatically and unwittingly assumed unless you rebut the presumption by effectively noticing them, it ain't me. Surety. The person who has pledged him or herself to pay back money or perform a certain action if the principal to a contract fails, as collateral, and as part of the original contract, Duheim's Law Dictionary. 1. A formal engagement given for the fulfillment of an undertaking. 2. One who promises to answer for the debt or default of another. Under the Uniform Commercial Code, however, a surety includes a guarantor, and the two terms are generally interchangeable. Merriam-Webster's Dictionary of Law. Guarantor. A person who pledges collateral for the contract of another, but separately, as part of an independently contract with the obligee of the original contract. Duheim's Law Dictionary. It is not difficult to see that a state-created birth certificate, with an all-caps, name is a document evidencing debt the moment it is issued. Once a state has registered a birth document with the U.S. Department of Commerce, the department notifies the Treasury Department, which takes out a loan from the Federal Reserve. The Treasury uses the loan to purchase a bond from the Department of Commerce, which invests the sale proceeds in the stock or bond market. The Treasury Department then issues Treasury securities in the form of Treasury bonds, notes, and bills using the bonds as surety for the new securities. This cycle is based on the future tax revenues of the legal person whose name appears on the birth certificate. This also means that the bankrupt, corporate U.S. can guarantee to the purchasers of their securities the lifetime labor and tax revenues of every citizen of the United States, American with a birth certificate as collateral for payment. This device is initiated simply by converting the lawful, true name of the child into a legal, juristic name of a person. Dubuque re potocinia pars prinipium est, the principal part of everything is in the beginning. Legally, you are considered to be a slave or indentured servant to the various federal, state and local governments via your state-issued and state-created birth certificate in the name of your all-caps person. Birth certificates are issued so that the issuer can claim exclusive a title to the legal person created thereby. This is further compounded when one voluntarily obtains a driver's license or a social security account number. The state even owns your personal and private life through your state-issued marriage license certificate issued in the all-caps names. You have no rights in birth, marriage, or even death. The state holds title to all legal persons the state creates via birth certificates until the rightful owner, i.e. you, reclaims redeems it by becoming the holder in due course of the instrument. And this pick shows a registration of a record of birth, which would tend to support the claims about the BC in the above article. 
why the heck would a record of birth need to be registered? And with a Department of Commerce? Record alone is all that's needed to prove that the birth happened, as long as it's certified. Check out our packet in our email in the description. Our goal is to assist and support you and your loved ones in any way we can. For more than three decades, we've been collecting valuable resources that can help you overcome any obstacles you may encounter. We're excited to provide you with access to the most up-to-date technology and research that have successfully helped numerous individuals in the past. We're confident that they can do the same for you. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or concerns. We highly recommend reviewing our information packet, which contains cutting-edge and proven knowledge. We believe that access to this information is important for everyone, and we encourage you to share it with your friends and family. Please like share and subscribe.